Here's why you shouldn't go with a plastic shower tray in your camper van conversion. This shower tray has been in about two years. However, we've only been using it the past six months. And this is the, this is the problem we're having. We've got cracks absolutely everywhere you can see. And underneath this is polyurethane. So this has been fully sealed down, yet it's still cracking. If you've already fitted one of these shower trays in your van, I suggest you rip it out as soon as possible because you are gonna come into a heck of a lot of problems. What I am going to be using to cut it out is my multi-tool with a wood and nail bit on the end. If you haven't got yourself one already, grab yourself a multi-tool. It's just amazing for van builds and your missus will thank you after it. So I started to cut out the shower tray using my multi-tool. Using a wood and nail bit, I managed to cut all the way around the edge of the shower and lift the shower tray out. Luckily there was only a little bit of water coming through in the top right hand corner so the wood underneath was in good condition. It's not overly bad. Um, we only just started to get signs of a little bit of water coming through the tray. But it did put treated timber in um, just because I thought you know the treated timber lasts a lot longer. Um, and I think it's just a yeah, it's better practice, especially in an area where it's going to start getting wet. So I need to take this mem this centre member out here because there was used to be a ledge across here. We're going to get rid of that ledge. So the toilet can go right to, back to the wall, and then make a DIY shower tray. So that's the other beam out. I had to smash that into the to try and get it out that way. Um, but yeah, that's out. I'm going to also cut the wooden floor out as well. Um, just to save on some more weight, cut that out, line the sides, and then yeah, just build a DIY shower tray and see how we get on. That's the wooden floor up. It has started to come through a little bit. I can see it here, bit of water coming through. However, um, it's not damaged the ply, just because before I did this, I did have a vapour barrier over the top of this, and I treated the wood, I treated all the side of the wood, and then. Um, all the wood on the bottom so it's not rotted any of the wood luckily it's only just started to come through um so i think we're gonna work out how we're gonna build this tray annalise has um, picked some really nice uh tiles they're just over there um luxury vinyl tiles and that's what we're gonna put in here so these are the tiles that annalise has chose they're not actually a tile it's called luxury vinyl floor of luxury vinyl tile and it's fully UPVC and it clicks together so this is what we're going to be using as the shower tray pumping in sweat it's really hard to get in especially to get it clicked I'll just show you what I'm doing now basically I'm using Pure Reflex 40 bonding them down and then putting that glue underneath the edge all the way across the edge in that underneath the bottom of these tiles then into the little track where it clicks into and then either side of it as well so I'm uh, pretty much sealing the bottom both sides and the track and then I'm going to go over again in the little tiny fine track that's in the center put some more in there and then wipe it out smooth and then yeah to do the same with the sides Put some trim on and then that should make it look better but how nice are those tiles at least did a good ch choice there i'll get this one in now sorry guys it went off then so basically what i do is i get this get the pu40 adhesive and i go along here plenty in here then go along the back along the side just ladder it on in the corners over there and then the track itself tilt it upright and I just go across there like that to the end and then cross this side like that and I just fill that track in as much as I can and I also fill in 
just to the side of the track as well. Put as much down as I can where any of the joins are. Same here, I'm going to squash this, it'll pull up nice and tight. Put plenty down on there. And I'll clip the board in to show you that now. Here's the panel. And we just basically get it in one side first. You have to drop it down a little bit. Push it over. And drop it down. We basically knock that into place now. And that's that next panel down. And the silicon that comes up through the crack, I just wipe it flat and then clean it off afterwards. That's the shower tray in, looking mint all sealed up i'm going to get these timbers screwed up and then get some more of this shower uh, some more of this um panel in on the sides and seal that up so if you're wondering where i have got this um shower floor stuff from it's from bnq it's 62 pound a pack of 12. you only need one pack um, but in total this is probably cost us 80 pound for make our own diy shower tray and it looks cool as well However, on the downside, this is quite wound me up. Um, someone stole my drill. <laughs> nice one. And it's actually nowhere to be seen. <sighs> oh well. Looks like I'm ordering another drill. <laughs> Good job I got Annalise, because I um, thought someone had stole my drill. Found it. It was in the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> right, just before I glue this on in place, I'm going to get my seal in and I'm going to run a bead all the way across the edge, up the sides, along the top and all on the back of this, just to make sure that there's plenty of sealant there and no water's going to get past it. Um, and then once I've done a sealant gap on the back, then I'm going to put a trim on the front top seal the bottom of that then seal the top of it and then once this is all in place and then i'm going to seal the bottom of this as well so it'll have a heck of a lot of sealing on it <laughs> probably not not the best day for working in i tell you that it's so warm but on the plus side this is actually looking really nice i'll spin the camera around and i'll just show you where it looks like check that out how nice is that looking already I've just got obviously this bit to finish off across here and then the step as well and the trim for the side but how cool is that looking? I have put just a thin bead of sealant along the edge there I'm going to do the other edge in a minute and around then I'm going to let it set let it all set and, and get into place and then tomorrow I'll run another bead all the way around over everything else to double check make sure it's watertight but how cool is that i really like it it's a bit dirty because of my feet but it looks so good for next to nothing as well i'll have to head to tool station tomorrow morning and um grab hold of some sealant and some trim but yeah it's done quite well to be fair considering um but don't get them plastic trays them plastic trays are absolutely crap the last two minutes you end up having to cut them out and pretty much do similar to what i've done so i'm going to leave it like that for now let it set overnight i'm going to redo some more sealant around it and then in the longer run after a couple of months of use i'm then going to epoxy resin the whole bottom of the shower tray so i know that's 100 percent um waterproof but to be fair the tiles waterproof the sealant's waterproof i put loads on put three tubes of sealant on the thing so that should hold fingers crossed guys how good does this look now this has been about a week later and we've tested it and it's fully waterproof got a little drain in there and the sealant all around it i'll jump in and show you So that's the shower tray all done guys there will be some more updates coming with the shower soon but if you did like this video hit like hit subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one